before starting to listen to this hypnosis session, it is a good idea to switch off your phone and make sure that you will be able to listen undisturbed for the length of the recording to get the maximum benefit from it. Please do not listen to this recording while you are undertaking any activity which requires your full attention and alertness. Choose somewhere quiet and comfortable to sit or lay so that you can allow yourself to relax completely, both physically and mentally. You may want to ask others in your household not to disturb you for a little while. Now you have made yourself comfortable, I would like you to choose a spot on the wall or on the ceiling to focus your eyes on. Maybe this will be a mark or blemish or patch of shade or light. Or maybe it will be just plain surface. And just fix your gaze on that spot and focus while you turn your attention to your breathing. Notice how your ribs and your stomach rise with each breath in and how they fall with each breath out. And see how your breathing becomes more and more regular as you are paying attention to it. And as you feel your breath in and your breath out, your breathing becomes steadier and slower, almost as if you were lying in bed and starting to drift off to sleep. And as you sit or lay there, Focusing on your breathing, you may feel your eyes starting to feel heavy as you continue to keep your gaze fixed on the wall. And fairly soon, in a little while, or maybe almost straight away, it may seem to you that you would feel much more comfortable, so comfortable, if you were to allow your eyes to close on down and the heavier they feel, the more attractive the idea of just letting your eyelids drop and close becomes and your breathing is calm and peaceful and your eyes are starting to drift shut blinking as they continue to feel heavier and heavier. And as you continue to blink, it becomes harder and harder to keep your eyes open. And they just want to close on down. And as soon as you get to the point where it feels like just too much effort to let them stay open, you can let them just close on down and rest your eyes while you listen to your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. And as you continue to relax down further and deeper, notice how your body starts to feel as though it is drifting comfortably, warm, relaxed and calm, floating down into complete relaxation and feeling relaxed and peaceful. And because relaxing and just letting your mind float feels good, it is easy to allow this feeling to deepen even further, taking you to a more and more pleasant place to rest and relax and unwind further and further down now.
sometimes it can seem that letting go of things, relaxing and letting our thoughts become calm and peaceful, is the most difficult thing in the world to achieve. There are so many things to occupy our minds in life. We think, we worry about making sure that everything we need to do has been done and that we have fulfilled our commitments to family, to friends, to work. All too often, our own needs are left until last or not taken care of at all. We worry about events in the news and worry about the people we love staying safe in a rapidly changing and difficult world. Sometimes it seems that all we have is worry about one thing or another. We forget to take time to stop, to breathe, to relax and allow our bodies and minds to rest, truly rest. Anxiety, stress, responsibility, prevent us from experiencing calm, peace and tranquility in our lives. The events and situations in the outside world are not easy to leave at the door sometimes and we can carry our fears and concerns from day to day without being able to take time out. When we allow our bodies and minds to rest and relax completely, then we feel healthier and happier and we sleep better and rest better. Relaxing and unwinding, resting and releasing any tension we may feel allows our bodies to rest and our energy levels to increase again. We feel less tired, more able to cope with the things we have to deal with in our everyday lives. Relaxing, unwinding and releasing all tension now. If you want it, you can have it. And you only have to want it. Letting go of any worry you may have at this moment in time and releasing any tension you may feel. Feel, experience that tension moving slowly and smoothly from your body, flowing out through the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes leaving you feeling calmer, peaceful, content. Notice any tension you may be able to feel anywhere in your body. Focus on that tension and then release it, allowing it to leave gently so that you unwind even further. And now feel how relaxed your body is feeling and notice how you feel as though your body is drifting, almost as if you were above or outside your body. And all you have to do is to enjoy the wonderful sensation of doing nothing. 
let your shoulders just drop and any tension in the muscles of your neck allow it to flow away now there is nothing you need to do and nothing you need to think about right now other than to let go of anything that may be worrying you anything that may be occupying your mind we take for granted the changing of the seasons in the natural world. We see the signs of spring around us, turning into summer and then into autumn before the winter arrives and the natural world seems to go to sleep again, awaiting warmer days and sunshine before the cycle begins again. And we relish the differences we see between one season and another. Perhaps we have a favourite season, or maybe we love different things about each season in turn. But because we know that when summer leaves, it will return, even though it may be slightly different from the previous summer. We are able to watch it fade and give way to autumn, resting in the knowledge that we will see summer again before too long. And in the same way, we have seasons in our lives. We have fallow times like winter, when nothing seems to move or change. But eventually, like winter, those times of little or no change pass and give way to new life. Spring brings a multitude of life, erupting all around us, and like our lives, can seem to be overflowing with change and new life, almost bewildering in its intensity. Then summer comes, and our time takes on a more leisurely and measured pace, where things seem to flow smoothly, and the different aspects of our lives seem to fall into an orderly pattern around us. Then comes autumn, and with the change of season can come trial and tribulation, storms and gales can buffet and blow us off course. When we are beset by stormy weather, it can be difficult to remain calm and confident in our knowledge that this too will pass and we seek to control what is happening around us to make us less fearful of what may occur. And it is perfectly normal to want to feel in control and we most want to be in control when we feel that life is difficult and unpredictable. We feel that the more control we have, the less fear we will experience. And the more we try to control events unfolding around us, the more anxious and fearful we may become. And the harder we try to keep that fear away, the more we try to control. And really we understand, deep down, that we can't control anything anyway. Nothing in life is really predictable. And things are changing all the time. In the same way that the seasons unfold, and have their time 
before acknowledging that it is time to pass the baton to the next season and fading gently away. And in the same way that the seasons come and go, each with their own birth, life and death, our lives unfold in new beginnings and in endings, one after another throughout the years of our lives. And we understand that this is the natural order of things and that we can embrace change, welcome the new, experience each unfolding situation and then release it as it fades and is left behind us. What we may fear now will soon be behind us and in a little while we won't even remember what it was that made us so anxious and the intensity of that experience will diminish and become part of the past. Time and memory will trail behind us like a glittering trail of phosphorescence across the moving scene before it is lost to view and fades away. And the power over us of anything that we fear is only in the not knowing, the change that we cannot prevent or delay when it is time for it to arrive. And when the change has taken place, then the fear subsides and recedes as we take into our lives the new circumstances that the changing tides have brought to our door. The sea ebbs and flows, the tides do their work of cleaning the beaches washing away the footprints of yesterday and leaving the sand unblemished and renewed before tomorrow comes. And when we think back, we can remember many things which at the time they happened caused us worry or anxiety or fear. And yet here we are, in this very moment, and knowing that we were only made stronger and wiser and more knowledgeable by those very moments in the past. And remembering this, we can also remember that in a few days or a few weeks, or months time, what we are experiencing at the moment will also have become part of our personal history to eventually, down the passage of the years, become almost lost from memory. And so we can rest calm, tranquil and peaceful in our knowing that this too will pass and that we will always find a way to deal with what arrives each day and that this day will finish and at the end we will have done what was needed and can sleep peacefully through the night. We only need to do what we are able to do at any given moment and know that the moment is all there is and knowing that we are in the moment and that there is only the moment 
and that everything else is either in the past and is history or is in the future and exists only in our imagination of what or how it may be. And because there is only this moment, there is nothing that needs to be controlled, nothing to control, only to act and say and do what we must do in the moment. The past cannot be controlled because it has already slipped away from us and the future cannot be controlled because it doesn't yet exist and when it does exist it will be the moment, this moment and no longer the future. So we only have this moment this very moment and in this very moment we can remain calm knowing that we will do what needs to be done and see what there is to see and hear what there is to hear and feel what there is to feel. There is nothing to control in the moment. And when we seek to control, what we really seek to do is to know and to feel safe and without fear. But we cannot know the future, only remember the past and know the moment. And in this very moment, there is only action and energy and our senses engaging with what is taking place and our mind processing these things and so there is nothing in this moment to be controlled and so we can rest, be calm, be at peace Relax in the knowledge that we will do and say and be what needs to be done and said and experienced. And now just rest and relax and drift, allowing your mind to rest. Allowing your body to rest, feeling every part of you, just giving up any need for anything else, but to enjoy the pleasure of letting go and being in the moment. And I'm going to remain quiet for a few moments so that you can enjoy all the more the wonderful sensation of just being and drifting, relaxing and floating. <laughs> 